Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial of this series. Today's lesson will be the very first in creating objects. We'll be focusing a lot on the command panel and so I'll be explaining more on what it does as we go along. Now I hope you learned most of the controls I showed on the last few lessons as you're going to be using that knowledge on this tutorial. Now if you forgot, don't worry, I'll be explaining everything that I'm doing a step at a time. Now the first thing we want to do is set up our units. This will help us base our model on a particular scale. Now to do this, go to Customize, Unit Setup, and that will bring this pop-up. Now in here you can set it to whatever you want, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be leaving it to centimeters. Now play around with it until you understand how it works uh, before you get onto creating your objects. When you're done, click OK. But because I haven't changed anything, I'll just click Cancel. Now let's get started on the creation part. Let's start off by going to the command panel on the right. Now we've got a few different tabs up here, but we want to make sure the Create tab is selected. This is the first one here. Now right below that will be a subcategory and make sure you've got the geometry selected. Click on the box. This will highlight it in a different color. Let's go straight to the perspective viewport and click anywhere within this viewport to start creating a box. So just click and drag in any direction you see fit. And as soon as you let go, this will give you the option to increase the height of the box. So you can go as high as you want. I'll leave it to about that size. Now go ahead and create another box right next to that or as far as you want. So just play around with this until you get the hang of it and then select sphere and continue doing the same. Now you might want to go through this whole section to understand what each one of these is and how it works. Or how to create them. Now after making a few objects you might want to get out of the create mode and potentially edit them. Now to get out of the create mode all you need to do is click on this button here which is the select object. As soon as you click that you notice all this will go away and that sphere won't be highlighted anymore. And that, that now allows you to select the objects and edit them. Now we haven't got to the editing part yet so uh, another way to to escape the create mode so let me just go back into it again as you can see we've got that going and the easiest way is to just right click and that removes all those rollouts and you're ready to start selecting your objects for editing now as we made these objects you would have noticed we didn't follow any particular size now if you want to make things up to scale, uh, all you have to do is look at the parameters on the right as you create that object. Now I'll show you. Just zoom out a little bit, or better yet, let's delete everything we've got on screen. So make sure we've got uh, the Select Object tab. And just click and drag within any viewport, select everything and hit Delete. And that clears up our all our viewports. Let's go back to our command panel and select box. Now as you click and drag you notice the numbers on the parameter section changing but ignore those for a second and create your your box as normal. Now once you finish creating an object as long as you don't deselect that object you can modify its parameters straight away. So you can do so by either using the arrows and increasing or decreasing the size, going up and down, or you can enter the numbers yourself, like so. Now I'm going to make another box right next to that. And then maybe um, I'll select a sphere this time. Just click and drag, but notice the parameters for sphere 
looks different to what we had for the box. Now we can uh, modify the, the radius and how many segments a sphere has. So you can look at the other viewports to sort of give you an idea. But we'll explore all this later. So remember, you can still enter whatever number you want here. Now, every time you create an object, you get different types of parameters. So you might want to play around with that until you understand how, how it works. Just zoom out a little bit. Now, um, all these parameters are appearing as I'm creating the object. So for example, let me create another uh, cylinder here. As soon as I let go, I can edit it. But as soon as I deselect it, uh, let me just get out of the, the create mode by right clicking. And then as soon as I deselect that, select it again, I've lost all those parameters, so I can't edit it anymore. Uh, to edit it now, I have to go to the second tab on the top, which is the modify tab. And as soon as you click on that, you've got all your your editing uh, parameter section again and as you click on other objects as long as you remain within the modify panel you can you can continue editing each one of them now one thing I forgot to tell you uh, which I'm going to tell you now uh, with regards to creating objects each one of them has a different amount of clicks you have to do before creating that particular object. For example, um, let me just let me just delete these things real quick. Okay. For example, with the box, all I have to do is click and drag, and as soon as I let go, I get to decide on the height. With the sphere, it's pretty much just one click. When you go to the cylinder, that's quite similar to the box. So you click and drag. As you let go, you decide on the height. And as you click again, and that's done. So you might want to, again, play around with this until you, you understand how it works. But with regards to deleting an object, all you have to do is select that object by clicking on it, clicking on it once hit delete if you happen to make a mistake just hit ctrl z on your keyboard or you just click on one of these arrows that will undo it you can also redo it delete that too and if you want to select everything within your scene you just click ctrl a and that selects everything so we'll delete all those from there Thanks for tuning in to today's tutorial and uh, I'll be seeing you on the next lesson. Bye for now.